Hey guys, Gonzo. Uh, I got a lot to talk about. I'm gonna try and make this real quick today. I don't know how the lighting is, but I got a bunch of unboxings to do. But uh, trapping season's here, and uh, I've got probably 50 subscribers the last two weeks. I'm almost at 1,800. Uh, I'm guessing a lot of them are probably newer trappers and stuff, getting ready for season, trying to learn and stuff. So. Um, to my new guys, the old guys, the people I got this summer and stuff, I want to give a, some shout outs to some other really good trapping channels. Guys, and if I left your name out of here, it's nothing against you, it's just some names that I wrote down real quick. Guys that comment on my channel all the time and stuff. Um, anybody else that wants trapping shout out in the near future, let me know. I've got a lot of trapping videos that are going to be loaded. Um, my fox coyote and uh, raccoon starts next week. so. I'm going to get out Tuesday, Wednesday, start uh, setting some steel, and hopefully by the weekend I got some video for you guys. So uh, I'm in a pit today uh, where I'm out scouting. There's coyote shit all over the place. I'm going to go pick it up. It's always good. Uh, I'll use it in different places. I won't use it here. I've already got a bucket or uh, a container of other scat from other places. I don't want to mix it up. I want to use scat from one other place at this place and this at other places. But um, I'm going to do a quick weasel tutorial on here too, showing you three different sets and a couple different things that I'm going to try this year for my weasels. And this is actually one spot where I do set three uh, weasel traps around the corner over here. So I'll get out there and I'll show you that. But uh, let me get up down with the shout outs and then we'll uh, get this started. Um, these are going to be some great, great trapping channels now, guys. So check them out. Uh, here's a newer guy to my channel and me to his, uh, Dave Wilcox Jr. And he's having a hundred sub contest right now. After a hundred subs, he's going to give away a survival bracelet. So check Dave out. Looks up. Uh, he used to be. It looks like a bush pilot and stuff. Um, looks like he's really going to have some good stuff this year. As of everybody else, and I'll put this in the description to check him out. Um, Timberline North, the boss of the swamp, the Trapper Boy 13, Alex Schuler. Actually, Alex uh, sent me a box of snares. I'll show you. Backyard Meat, NS Trapper Hunter, Mr. Sly Fox, William Larkham Jr., Rodney Newbury, 709 Reed, The 80K Trapper, Wyo Wilderness, Coon Creek Outdoors, D&J Animal Control, Good Fly One, Trout Boy 26, and uh, there, there's a lot of other ones out there. I could go on and on and on. But those are just some of them. Check them out, sub them. Freaking phenomenal videos. So uh, here we go. I'm going to get started with the quick unboxing and the eating of a pepper. Um, I got three awesome pictures from Sean Andrea from my picture collage. Him and his, uh, well, three girls holding a bunch of cats. Picture of him with a huge cat. I'm probably too far away for you guys to see this. Then it looks like his wife with a bunch of cats. So he sent me... Two peppers. I had them before. I think they're called a black scorpion. Hopefully I don't pay for this right now. But uh pretty warm. Tastes good. I'll I'll keep talking, I'll let you know uh how things turn out. My good buddy Travis, Travis Henry, he's got a, um, his channel Survive Without, and uh, he does a lot of bushcraft. An excellent channel, I, I love it. Guys, check him out, subscribe to him too. Uh, you talk to him, they watch your channel, he'll subscribe back. He sent me two pieces of uh, fire starter, and he sent me a, a flint striker. Strike my flint on this, make a spark. And I watched him do it with these little things that he got from Dunham's. He said they'll start a fire like 10 times for you. You start your fire, put this stuff out. They come in boxes of 20, I believe he said. That's excellent. I can't wait to get started using that. Probably this winter I'll make a breakfast in the bush again. And this is what I'm going to use to start my fire. Woo! The pepper's warm, Sean. Not as warm as the scorpion. I know you said it tasted like gas, but I thought it tasted pretty good, actually. 
All right, um, from my pepper challenge that me and my son did with scorpion peppers. Whew. Everybody probably knows Nate. He wrote me and Colin a nice little letter for trying his uh, scorpion pepper challenge. And he sent us each uh, two decals, two guys fishing. That's his channel, him and his uh, buddy uh, Brody. Nose is starting to run. Whoosh, she's hot. Whew. All right. <coughs> I got two dozen snares here and three dozen snares here. Totally different kinds. I want to show you this one with the spring, the locking mechanism and stuff. I got the deer stop up at four inches or four and a half inches from Michigan. I can't wait to get started using these. Um, I'm not going to tell you who sent me these ones. I'll let you guys figure that out. And then I got three more dozen, these heavy duty ones. I've never snared in my life, fellas. Got my deer stops on these. Different kind of uh, lock on there, snare lock. So I'm going to get started snaring this winter. January 1st starts our first uh, snaring. And in Michigan, it's got to be on private land, which I've got some private land to trap and stuff. So I'll get started baiting that the middle of December. Get the coyotes and the fox and stuff coming in. And, throw some snares down, both of them, and uh, I can't wait. I hope I can get some video for you fellas that sent me these snares. These, uh, the big heavy duty ones were sent to me by Alex Schuler. Alex from Ohio. These other ones that I got, these two dozen, they came from a really good friend too. And uh, he doesn't want me to say who he is, but I really appreciate it. You know who you are. I know you watch my videos. Thank you. Excellent job, both guys on the snares. Um, the ones from Alex were really, uh, they were a surprise. I, I didn't expect something like that. Thank you, Alex. Another one's a surprise too, but I knew they were coming. So let's keep going here. Um, I gotta get a drink. They say water's no good for you, but it's probably not when my mouth is burning. All right. You guys have seen how I did this in my last, my weasel tutorial. I'm making this tutorial right here for Conagher and Sage, just kind of an update and I'm going to help you. I'm going to send you guys some, uh, some new rat traps that I got you, some footholds. Actually, this is one of the footholds right here. It's a number one and a half bridger. I put the, the drone cable or the cable around there for you, but I'm going to take this out. I'm going to set this. Something new I'm gonna try this year are these push pins. You know where I put the trap against the tree? I try and level it there the best that I can. And sometimes I'm sure that the wind blows it and unsets it. But if I put these on each side of it, that sucker's not gonna, it's not gonna move anywhere. I'll, I'll show you, I'm gonna go over here where I normally set. Excuse me. Um, and then another thing with the trap this year, if I can't, use the push pins. I'm going to use the wire and I'm going to wire the trap around the tree so it doesn't move. I have my bait there and stuff so I'm going to go get um, even my box set up with the conibear. bear. I'm going to get three weasel setups for you right around the corner here and get back to you, show you and explain each weasel setup and uh, don't forget to check all those channels out. Trapping season's right around the corner. Everybody be safe. Uh, get a lot of fur. Prices are supposed to be up this year and stuff. Let's all have a lot of fun and do a good job now. Peace. Peace, Chucky. <sighs> Alright, guys. It took me maybe six minutes to set these three traps. Here, we got the rat trap. Just hanging, again. But what I did different this year, I got it about six inches off the ground. See behind the lever, if you look right there, I've got wire. That trap isn't moving. That's uh, better than trying to pry it between two sticks like I've ever did before. Uh, I've got bundles and bundles of wire. I'm just gonna start wiring these traps. Then I shouldn't have no, no reason 
you know, to come and not have anything. You know, you catch your red squirrels and flying squirrels in them, but that's trapping. Then over here, I got the cable anchor that you've seen before. You can't see it, it's buried there. Here's my box set. And I've got two dozen of these I'm going to use for mink, which I did last year, and then I use for weasel in the wintertime. There's my conibear in there. All you got to do is stake your trap down. Believe it or not, um, you catch pine martens in these too. I've did it in a 110 before. Only caught two pine martens in my life, and that was in one of them. And right here, here I got a number one right there. Normally I'd put like buck holes underneath there, but I got the anchor underneath there. And right up here, about eight inches up, that little red tack, just pretend that that's bait wired onto the tree there. Weasel trap right there, pine marten fish or whatever in this. And you can't see my anchor there either. You throw, you throw a couple leaves over and some grass and stuff. You can see the trap. I left the pan. Oh, like I said, uh, you can use ferns. There's, uh, that's normally what I use. You know, I buy a buck, a big bag of to those whatever the hell they are they're like 25 30 dollars for like a 20 pound 30 pound bag i don't even know but uh once that's gone i use ferns and different other shit but um you put your bait up there you don't have to put nothing around your trap for a weasel weasels are one of the dumbest animals you can catch they're like a raccoon a freaking otter i mean otters are stupid they're swimming down a creek you put a pole across it and they dive underneath it and there's a kind of bear waiting there for them but uh those are the three sets. You guys got any questions, ask me. Um, muskrat, beaver, uh, we could use venison now until January 1st. I pick up roadkill deer. I did that earlier a couple weeks ago and I chopped it up. Actually, about a week and a half ago. It's the 11th today. It was the first, actually. Big dead, though. So there it is. There's your foothold. Like I said, that if you got bait there, that weasel's going to be jumping around. His mind is on the food. He ain't even going to know that trap is there. He's, you're probably going to catch him in the front or uh, in the back. I've caught a number of my weasels. I'm gonna make a weasel uh, video this winter and just show you guys some sets and a ton of catches. You know, maybe I'll show you guys 20, 30 catches. It'll be pretty cool. And then uh, the conibear, you know, if you got time to make the boxes, like I said, I made two dozen of them last year. You can use them for mink. I'm gonna use them for pine marten come on uh, December 1st, and then I'm gonna turn around and use them for weasels. And then you got that trap. Okay, here's a quick story for you. Uh, I'm sitting there. My, my truck last week started acting up. I turned my heater on. I'd hear brrrr. So I turn around and uh, I bring it to the shop. Guy says, uh, what's up? I said, I think the heater's going or the core or something in there. He goes, well, he goes, uh, you got mice around? And I went, no, nah, no mice. And then he goes, um, chipmunks and squirrels. I said, yeah, I feed the birds and the chipmunks and squirrels. He goes, uh, you might have a bunch of a nest up in their grass or something. Well, anyways, he checks it out. Cost me $48. Said they pulled handfuls and handfuls of grass, leaves, seeds, and uh, corn out. And I don't have any corn around since last year, so I'm guessing that the little shits, and I don't have anybody on either side of me or anywhere that's got corn or deer hunts. So they must have been starting that nest in there last year and um, and uh, plugged it up on me. Thank God I didn't have to buy a new heater or something. It got to the point where it was barely blowing. Warm air would come out, but it was like something was shot. So guess what? Next year there's going to be a chipmunk tutorial. I caught 14 of them last summer, not this past summer, because I left them alone. I heard they're, tuto they're territorial, so every time I caught one, you know, I'd catch two or three in a day. So I caught all my chipmunks and then I quit trapping them when I heard the territorial and apparently they just kept coming and coming and I thought it was the same three, four around the house. Who knows how many there was. But next summer, all summer long, I'm going to catch them. I'll show you guys all, I'll show you guys live catches. I'll sit there and feed them. Set the trap and catch them right in front of you. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, like it, share it. Check out all those channels that I shared with you and stuff. There's a lot of other good ones, and uh, if anybody out there knows any good ones that I'm not subscribed to, or don't be afraid to holler at me and let me know. Uh, try these sets out, Conagher and Sage. Uh, um, you get you get your old man out there, Ray. He'll help you set a few of these traps that I'm going to send you guys, and uh, you guys will catch some squirrels, maybe some weasels, whatever else you got up in your neck of the woods. You guys got a beautiful place up there. Sorry to hear you've been getting uh, pounded by snow and stuff, but... 
that's part of part of living in the mountains, man. You know, I I love where you live, Ray. Anyways, uh, until uh, next time, fellas, uh, peace, peace, Chucky. Right there it is.